Hello Houston, this is Jason Hammond, the Science Outreach Manager and current Life Science Manager here at the Children's Museum Houston. I am inside the Inventors Workshop and I am going to show you how to make an art bot. Brought to you by the very, very wonderful people at Centerpoint Energy. Now to make an art bot, the science behind it is basically circuitry. We are going to make ourselves a circuit using a motor that has two conductors attached to it, which are wires, and we're gonna attach those wires to a battery, which is the power source. So really, to make a circuit, you just need three things. You need a power source, which in this case will be a battery. You need two conductors, which in this case is the wires already attached to the motor, and you need the load, which is what you're sending power to, which is the motor. And I'm gonna show you all this stuff in a moment. Right now, I'm gonna go over our materials list, which is gonna be kind of specific, but at the same time, a little vague, because I'm gonna say, like, you don't have to use this, but these are the suggested materials. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and make one. Just remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, especially when you're working with electricity. So please have a responsible adult nearby when you're doing this project. So here are some of the materials I might suggest that you use, but you don't have to necessarily use exactly what I say. Some of the ones that you will need, I'll be very specific about. Other ones I'll be like, you can use this if you want to. First, for your art bot, you will need a body for the art bot. And I will suggest that you can use a cup of some sort. You don't have to use this type of cup, but maybe a cup will work. These uh, food takeout boxes are really good. And you may even use a strawberry basket or another type of vegetable basket. So the body, you have some leeway. These rubber bands here are also the type I like to use, but you can use different rubber bands as long as they're thick. Okay, you want them to be thick. You're gonna need a AA battery. Don't use a AAA, don't use a D cell, use a AA battery. These uh, nuts and washers here are for weight and balance. These are types you can use. You don't have to use them. You can use a different type of weight and balance if you want. This is just what I'm gonna suggest. Here's your motor. This is the type of motor you wanna use, all right? Get some scissors. Scissors are always good to have around. These glue sticks, uh, again, you can use these types of thin glue sticks or you can use thicker glue sticks. What these do is they can help vibrate your art bot to make it move in different ways. These craft sticks and these skewers here are strictly de de decorative. So if you wanna use these, you can, but if you wanna use something different like colored craft sticks or different types of skewers, go ahead and use that. You're gonna need some markers, and I do suggest you use thin markers, but some people like to use the thick markers. It's okay, no problem there. And then some masking tape, but if you have painter's tape, you can use that. If you have scotch tape, you can use that. Pretty much any kind of tape will work. I just like to use masking tape. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your motor's working, okay? And the way you do that is you're gonna grab one AA battery, grab your thick rubber band. Uh, I have the glue stick and the scissors out. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with those in a moment, but first we're gonna go ahead and just test the battery. Very simple, take your rubber band and go ahead and stretch it over the battery. So that's covering both ends, both the negative and the positive end. All right, having a little trouble here, but... Uh. There we go, there we go. So remember, when it comes to a circuit, you have to have a power source. Your battery right here is your power source. Now, really all you gotta do next is you gotta slip one wire on the positive end and one wire on the negative end. The great thing about a motor is it doesn't matter which side you put it on. If you put the red on the positive and the black on the negative, it's gonna go ahead and spin one way. If you flip them around, it'll just spin a different way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one wire in and one wire in. And then you can see that the motor is working. Oh, and sometimes it'll slip out, that's okay. Just slip it back in. And you can see that it's working. Okay, very good. So now what I want you all to do is understand what the glue stick is for. The glue stick is to help vibrate if you build the robot a certain way. Now you can attach this entire glue stick just by sticking it inside right here and just pushing it through like that. But that's a little long. 
So you're probably going to want to cut the glue stick at some point just so it's not quite that long and you can like put it against your box where it flaps this way or do whatever you want. But sometimes you don't need to even use the glue stick. It's just in, depending on how you make it. So right now I'm going to go ahead and make you a very, very, very simple art bot and then we're going to go test it. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to decorate it. I really do like decorating my art bots and I'm going to show you one I decorated a minute ago. But you just me decorating it, it doesn't really add to what you're needing to learn about this. All it does is just watches me decorate it. So you're going to want to decorate it any way you want and however you want. Again, even though I'm going to make my art bot a certain way, you do not have to make it the same way. You can become very, very creative. I'm choosing to use this uh, takeout box because when you fold the flaps in like this, it gives you a very solid base at the bottom. So you can have this sort of uh, laying down right here. You got this trapezoidal shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my battery to the top here. I'm just going to use some tape to secure it. So I have my masking tape here. I got to find the, there it is. And I'm just going to take a slice of it off and I'm going to just secure it very, very well just going like this. So you can see there's tape on that side and there's tape on that side. But you will also notice that I left the ends where the positive and the negative are clear so that I can stick the wires inside. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take my motor and I'm going to just put it back here like this with the wires coming up this way. So it's, like I said, very simple. Now there are certain things you might have to adjust as you go. But for now, just follow along so you can see just me making a very simple art bot. Get some tape and I'm going to tape this down too, just like that. And you want to make this one a little bit tighter when you tape it. You want to make it a little bit tighter so that it's secure, okay? And I might even just put some tape right here to secure it down. And this is where decoration becomes important because you just don't want to see all this tape everywhere. But like I said, you don't need to see me decorate it the whole time. All right, so I'm actually going to put one more piece of tape just to make sure it's very, very secure. Because you don't want your motor uh, flying off in the middle of what you're doing. Now you can notice it's kind of sitting on there like this. And the motor, this little piece right here, is on the table. So when I attach the wires, it should start moving around a little bit. There it goes. So now you can see it has this sort of type of movement right here. And when you test it like this, that's when you can decide, oh, how am I going to put my markers? So you might put the markers in the front. You might put them on the sides. That's just a way of figuring things out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my markers on the side. And what you do is, this is where it kind of gets a little difficult. You want to do it with the cap first. And then when you take the cap off, you'll figure out when you go to the paper, how you're going to be able to make it draw. So I'm going to put it right about there. It's going to fall off until I get my tape, but I'll just go ahead and grab my tape now. I'm going to put it right about here, like I said. And like I said, I might have to adjust it, but we're going to just going to go ahead and see if it draws when I do it. So I have one side here. I'm going to obviously need to put another one on. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to try to even it up as much as I can, but that's again where you do problem solving. And yeah, that looks pretty good. But there is a problem, isn't there? At this point, my battery's up here, or my, my motor's up here. So how do I solve that? Well, when I take the caps off, hopefully at that point, it'll be more on the ground like that, as you can see. So, once you make your little art bot, you're going to want to put some butcher paper down or something like that and test it. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. My little art bot was drawing like mad, so I'm giving it a rest. At this point, I would start to decorate it, give it a little bit more of a personality. What I always like to do is just first test it out, make sure it works, so that 
if I have to change things around, I haven't already done all this decoration and I have to remove all of that as well. So we saw it, it was doing a good job. It was pretty hypnotic, just sort of going in that circle, making that oval shape, that almost slinky ring shape. So this would be ready to decorate. And I would decorate it not like this, but maybe something like this. As you can see, someone else made this art, but I did not. And they did a really good job. They gave it some hair and some eyes. They actually made an art bot with four legs. So there's so many possibilities. But decoration is important because it gives it personality and it becomes personal to you. Art bots are fun, right? That was really cool to see it in action, making that little design. You can make your art bot any way you want. There is no problem there. I just showed you how to make a really simple and easy one. As you saw in the materials list, there's lots of things you can use to help decorate your art bot. You also saw the one decorated art bot I had, but you do not have to do what I did. That's the really, really, really glorious thing about making. Making is choice. You do have to use the materials that are given to you, but it's so much creativity and there's so much choice to it that as long as you can make this art bot move on its own and draw something, you've done really, really good. I do want to thank Centerpoint Energy again for allowing me to do this project, but I also want you to know that even though we dealt with electricity here, we dealt with it in a very, very, very safe way. Centerpoint wants to remind you that sometimes electricity can be dangerous and you want to avoid the dangerous parts of electricity as much as you can. So if you see like a power line in the, on the sidewalk or in the street, don't go anywhere near it. Don't touch it, don't skateboard over it, don't jump your bike over it, anything like that. What you wanna do is you wanna immediately go and tell your parents. If your parents aren't home, maybe go to a neighbor and say, hey, Mr. Neighbor, there's a power line down over there. Also, if there are other kids in your neighborhood, warn them, say, hey, there's a power line over there, don't go near it, we don't want anyone to get hurt. Same goes for inside your house. If you see any exposed wiring, you see a light plate off, you see a plug that you can maybe stick your finger into do not do those things we do not want you to get hurt at all center point loves electricity center point loves natural gas but they also want you to always be safe so please if you see anything dangerous concerning electricity let an adult know and they will handle it with that I'm going to say goodbye for now I am Jason I am at the Children's Museum of Houston and I hope to see you soon thank you so much for joining me bye